Oh, there the big don't argue. Get off me, he says. Clear the tarmac. It's takeoff time. Media Vintage Sports Network present Play by Play podcast with Jordan Hughes. We are definitely on NRL Round 7. NRL Picks and Preview, great heavy company once again. Another bumper week of rugby league coming your way. Jordan Hughes with you as always. Me the king, baby. What's good? The fucking Jones. great man. Great to see you, my guy. Mate, Energy's up. Energy's are high, mate. Nice Energy's house is clean. Yep. Uh, mm, yeah. Studio's clean, sorry. Studio's clean, yep. That's all you need to know. Uh, viewers, <laughs> listeners, thank you. Woo. Uh, alrighty, what a weekend of rugby league. It's been huge and the boys are delivering. Oh, yes. I think both of us are on. We're on. Uh, that we'll was get... a good one last week. It was. Oh, from the top, we're talking about tipping. Uh, seven from eight for me this week. You were seven from eight. Yeah, I was spewing the I packed the, I backed the Knights instead of the Roosters. Ah, uh, that was a good one. Did you get seven? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Guy. So what I'm doing is, what I'm doing, obviously we both hit the Warriors. They drew. I'm going to count that as a win. Yeah, that's on a the, On the ladder. All right, nice. Um, but yeah, the good thing was I backed the Knights publicly, but I actually backed the Roosters on the bets. You're a fraud just like me. Yeah. So Nice. Uh, and then you got six and eight. Pretty good uh, weekend from you as well. Just the Eels oh, game yeah, the Eels and the Dragons Cowboys game. Mate. And the dra- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon Tigers. I took a roughie there. Um, so the overall standings is uh, Regan on 28 from 40, and I'm on 30 from 40. So very close. Oh, very look at close. this. He loves that. Look at, look at you. Mate, when I, if I'm, you're beating me, I'll, I'll yeah, say Yeah, I'll be riding you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, bloody hell. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get into it. What was your moment of the week, uh, King? Moment of the week was Joey Marno at fullback for the Roosters. Yeah, good. How good is he? Yes. I love him. I've always loved him. Well, he's signed the, signed no the union, mate. He's gone to Japanese rugby. What idiot? Japanese. Rugby, yep. Oh, nice. Yep. Arigato gozaimasu. Hey. Over a million bucks a year, he's fucking chilling. He's worth it. But yep. um, yeah, how good is he? He played well. And what about you? Uh, my moment of the week was the Mighty Dragons, mate. You laughed oh, at me. You yeah. really killed me. Nah, you nah, said, I said, the Tigers, no. what are you doing? <laughs> I said, no, I said that was a 50-50. Well, quote you. Remember I said, what's your best bet of the weekend? My best oh, bet yeah, was the Dragon. Yeah. You said, give me another one. That's yeah, shit. that was ridiculous. <laughs> well, look at that. No, we'll give you that one. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Thanks, but still, thanks. that is ridiculous. That's well, your bet of the week. Yeah, well, Useless. And it cashed in for the people. Nice. So, uh, yeah, I was happy the Dragons got it done. Close encounter there. Uh, what disappointed you? What disappointed me? Just the Cowboys' inconsistency. Mm. They're looking good, then they're not looking good. Yep. Looking good, not looking good. <laughs> Man, pick one. You look good or you don't. I agree. Uh, that's simple. It's pretty simple for me. What about you? Uh, mine was similar. Similar vein to that inconsistency. The Knights, man, at home, like they've had Ooh. Ponga there. They just there was, they, there was a game they should have won. I think they've been inconsistent. Yeah. Right? and plus the, the Roosters with Joey Manu at back. I know, Ooh. mate. But yeah, the Knights. Yeah, they were shorter players too, so they should have got it done. And you remember you said about the the Roosters that they were so exhausted, exhausted from that comeback, yeah. and I don't know. It's just disappointing. They should have won. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so I agree with you. That's pretty disappointing for them. Yeah. But they have been like that all year. Well, that's their problem. Mm. Uh, anyway, that was our little recap there. Let's get into NRL round seven. Jeez, it's funny flying by. Um, it and it starts with Thursday night footy, an absolute cracker. They can't be split uh, from the bookies. $1.90 each um, plus one and a half to the Roosters. Teddy and Sammy Walker are back in the mix and Asafa Solomona back for the storm. Oh, nice. You stole my... Uh my little info. Oh, That's sorry. what I thought. Yeah, Teddy's back and Nelson. Yep. Um, this one's always a close one between both of them. Roosters at home. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Teddy's back and Joey Manu back in the centres. But uh, I think we're going to lean with Storm here. Um, I think it's going to be close. I'm going to Storm 1-12. to Yeah, I do think it's 1-12 to either way, um, as I guess the bookies would suggest. So Storm have failed to cover the last 10 of 11 following a win. Um, the Storm's last four matches have been decided by six or less. On um, the try scoring front, Coates has scored in his last three versus the Roosters, and your man Manu or Tupo have Ooh. scored in their last eight appearances as a as a duo. That's clean. Yeah, so they can find a way. Both of them. Yeah. Nice. Um, so you already got Storm one to twelve. Yeah, just Storm one to twelve. I reckon I might, I might join you. Ooh, on that. nice. Yeah. My guy. I might join you. Uh, I can be close. Uh, I got to get Coates for a try there. Of course, these two met in finals week two last year. The Roosters beating them eighteen thirteen. So. A bit of redemption. We'll see. Oh, nice. Um, any try scores? Nah, just keep it simple. I don't know if it's even going to be a high scoring game, this one. Yeah, I actually might have the under. I reckon it might yeah, be tight. Yeah, I might go unders as well. Defense. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's go to the Storm to get it done there. Uh, next up, the Dragons versus the Warriors. The Dragons, $2.80 outsiders. The Warriors, $1.55. The line is six and a half. Obviously, Jack Bird is gone for the Dragons. He pushes Lomax back to center. Which is not a bad. But he was doing good on Mate, the wing. He was being Love him out there. He carved up. Obviously, with the Eels signed uh, next year. Yeah, nice. Um, yeah, so I think this one's going to be a good game. Uh, the Dragons lineup, they've changed their lineup. You know, they've got like a fresh new lineup, like Eisenhuth in the lock. Yep. 
um, second rows, Jaden Sewer and stuff. It just makes their team more healthier. I actually like Flanagan in the halves as well. Yep. Mixes it up. Um, they are, do they have their fullback? Yeah, they do. Um, and the Warriors, they're just looking clean. Mm. They should probably, like, what would you make that game last week, Golden Point? Like it was, they, the, the, the uh, Manly should have won. They yep. let them back in the contest. Yeah, just the wire things. You know how it is. Yeah, fair um, And Tommy Turbo. I love Tommy. You love Tommy Turbo. I always do. That's all I can talk about. Tommy Turbo and the wires doing wire things. Um, so before you give me your picks, let me just give you some stats before you do so. So the Dragons have lost the last eight of nine on a five-day or less turnaround. New Zealand have covered the last five as a favourite in Australia. Ten of 13 have gone under the total points in Dragons matches. Um, yes. Nice. That's looking good for the bet then. I'm going to go be going with the wires 1-12, to 12, and um, I'm going to look for Dallin to get a try. Yeah, um, so the Warriors have actually lost the last two in this matchup versus the Dragons. Um, bit of a bogey there. Dallin with 10, he's scored in his last nine of 10 away matches. So I'll join you there, Dallin nice. for a try. And Sloan has scored a try in his last five at Wynn Stadium. So I like Sloan for a try as well. And I will go the Warriors in a cl- Oh. Yeah, it's a close one though. Turning your back on the Dragons. Well, you know, they can't win two in a row generally. You know, mm. when they go good, then shit. Oh, yeah, true that. So we'll see. Got to be inconsistent in the NRL or you're no good. Correct. Nice. <laughs> um, but we are consistent with the bets. Uh, so the Warriors to win 1-12 to 12 for both of us. Keep it tight, the Warriors to win. Uh, let's go the Eels and the Dolphins. The Eels, dollar forty six favourites. The Dolphins, still seventy five. The line is 8.5. Um, no Tabai Fido, no Milford. And, of course, remember, this game's up in Darwin as well. Oh, in Darwin. Yeah. Didn't know that. Thanks for the stat. No worries. Um, yeah, no hammer. I think the Dolphins are looking a bit weak. Last week, they weren't very good, were they? No, Broncos all over them. I was pretty disappointed. Um, and the Eels... They've just got decent basic footy, and I'm going to be going with the Eels. Just too consistent here. Yeah, I can't give you much on the game. You know, they're missing Moses, still finding their feet, but I think they're just more consistent than the Dolphins. So the Dolphins' last seven night games have gone under the total points. The Eels have won the last eight of nine as a favourite, and Asako has scored in his last five interstate games. Um, I don't think that I think the Darwin thing actually hurts the Dolphins having to go up there. Um, I will go the Eels to win. Oh, nice. I reckon it's going to be an unders um, for yep. try scoring as well. Yeah, I'll take the uh, Eels, uh, sorry, under total points. Nice. I like that. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Yeah, good. Yeah, total points. Nice. Nice. Sweet. Uh, all righty then, let's go are to... We even? Are we even? We are even. The, the, the line's eight and a half. Do you reckon it's close? Do you reckon the Dolphins getting that? Do you reckon the Eels sort of... It's hard, eh? It's hard. You know, Dolphins can play in patches. Yeah, but without, without um, the hammer... hammer. He's their strike power. Yeah, maybe. I would lean But Eels. the Eels also struggle to put points on. Also true. Just depends. Yeah, cool to sit on the fence, oh, You know, if I was to take one, I'd say, yeah, they'd make the... Uh, Eels cover. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's go to the Panthers Panthers. $1.15, they're up against the West Tigers, $5.60. No Cleary skill, uh, still in the mix. Lachlan Galvin is back, the young fella in the halves. Nice. Uh, the line's 13 and a half. Um, this one's out in Bathurst. So if you remember this game last year, it was 12-8. The Tigers beat the Panthers in Bathurst. Pouring rain. Oh, wow. Um, so Tigers have a good record against the Panthers. Yeah, that's good. Good to hear. No worries. Um, I really like the um, the boogies. The boogies seem on. They, they seem to match what I think as well. I think okay. there's an 80% chance Penrith will win and only a 20% chance the Tigers will win. Mm-hmm. Um, I really like Penrith the, with the back rowers. They have Sorensen back and Martin. Um, and I reckon Toto is going to find some meat. I swear he likes to against the Tigers. Um, and maybe even just for good odds, um, Brent Naden for Tigers to score against his old club. Okay. Could be good. an option. Bit of roughy there, bit of value. Yeah, he could have like maybe eight bucks. No, nah, I don't know. Something, it'd be decent. Bit of a roughy. Yeah. Where, where's, he, where's he playing? Is he starting? Yeah, centre. Yeah, okay. Oh, there you go. Might nice. get over. Um, so the Panthers have won their last 10 day matches, but the last nine between these two have gone under the total points and Tigers have covered their last four against the Panthers. So How are Tigers doing that? Yeah, I don't know. They That's always crazy. sort of show some fight. So I reckon they actually will show a bit of um, bit of ticker this week. Nice. So I go Tigers plus the thirteen and a half, but the Panthers should get it done. Hope surely. Like I was yeah. looking at that, like Penrith should, but then you know there's always that old chance. Yeah. So, mm. but yeah, I definitely would be leaning the Tigers with the points in this matchup. Clean. And I'll, I'll go the under as well, low scoring. Nice. Um, then uh, the great man's favourite team, the Gold Coast Titans, back at home Gee-hoo! against the Manly Seagulls. Three dollars thirty on the Titans, a dollar thirty-five. Uh, Manly lines nine and a half. Jaden Campbell's out again. Is he? Yeah. Who's covering? Um, we've got Sami at fullback. Ooh. That um, be right. And they've moved Brimson to six, which is good. Yeah, I like I that. Think. And then uh, Ruben Garrick's back for Manly. Nice. And sub. And sub. Yeah, the first thought that comes to my mind then with these two teams is high scoring. Okay. Yeah. High scoring velocity here, maybe. Ooh, I like that. Um, 
Yeah, I reckon Olukwatu is a good option running out for him, for him against his old team. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think Olukwatu is a good scoring option. And look out wide for the Manly Saab and Talao on the wings to get a try. I just think the Seagulls are way too good for the Titans. Do you think it's a, a bit of a danger game for Manly? Like last week, the Tigers, Titans were better. They almost won. Yeah. Um, it's it's 5.30 Saturday afternoon, Gold Coast. Like it's a bit of a sleepy game. Titans could show up. I, I, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if the Titans win. They're going to win one soon. They could score a few tries, but I just think the quality of Tommy Turbo. I can't put it past. I can't say the Titans are going to beat Tommy Turbo. Yeah, um, can't do it. It's a couple of stats for you. The Gold Coast Titans have failed to cover the last seven of eight at Seabus Stadium, um, and the, but the Titans have won the last two versus the Manly Seagulls. Um, and then this is a bit of a random stat for you. The underdog has won the first half in the last six of Manly matches. Which, so the Titans mm. are paying three bucks to win the first half. Crazy. Um, so worth a sprinkle, maybe. Decent. Um, but I will go Manly to win and I'll go Titans to cover. And plus this nine is, and a half. What was it? Plus nine and a half. Mm. Ooh, this is at uh, Titans. Correct. Let's go. I'm going. Friday, Saturday night? Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm going, then. Actually, good to see Tommy. Yeah, want to go? Yeah, I'll oh, be. Guy. I'll be doing. Come, come with me, man. I'll be on the. Yeah, sweet. Nice. <laughs> uh, picks or manly? Manly, manly for sure. And the over, you reckon? Plenty of points. You tell plenty me. of points. High scoring points this game. There's too many fast people. Even Sammy at the fullback. He's yeah, I like good. him. He's gone. Yeah, he's got some speed there. Tommy Turbo, I reckon he's gonna blitz it up. But I say that every week. You do say that, but most of the time you're right. Mm, nice. Most of the time he does. Yes. Um, all right, Manly to get that one done in a close one does scare me a little bit. Hope I like to see the Titans win, but we'll see. Uh, all right, the Broncos taking on the Canberra Raiders. Dollar thirty six. The Bronx three dollars ten. The Raiders seven and a half is the line. Well, it was Raiders three dollars ten. Correct. Nice. Um, interesting game. Game of the week for me. Yeah, big one. Yeah, there's a few players out for both teams. No Reynolds, uh, but still the Raiders look good. Good. I like their young squad. That new uh, that kid in the halves, uh, Ethan Strange. Strange, yep. Um, I think it's going to be like a try for try, tip for tat. Mm-hmm. Um, look for Broncos to come away with the Chockies, I reckon. And um, Oates to score at that left edge. He's always safe for a meat pie, especially because Broncos are in that shape. Yep, good chat. Um, the home team has won in Brisbane the last nine matches. Seven of eight have gone over the total points. I agree, a bit of a shootout, I reckon, between these two. Ooh, Plenty nice. of points. I do like the Broncos to win. Um, I think we'll be close, though. Uh, I don't mind Stags for a try. Ooh, Big cool. Katoni crash. I'm going to go Cobo. I also had him written down as well. He's been getting the Two centers, get it done. After thinking about it, he's going to get one. Yep. Uh, but I wouldn't mind leaning the Raiders plus a 7.5. I reckon it might be 1-12. to 12. I reckon both teams will be over 20 points. Yep, it's a good one as well. Ooh, solid. That'd be good. All right, so who you got? Bronx. Bronx. Bronx do good. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Are we all are we all together so far? Who? Yeah. Yeah, what's going on there? We are. You look at you trying to stay ahead on the telly board. No, 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 man. I'm just picking winners, baby. Hey, <laughs> my guy. Uh, next up, the doggies taking on the Newcastle Knights. A dollar ninety-five. The dog is all eighty-five. Are the Knights? The Lions just one and a half. Um, bit of a toss of the coin here. Exactly. They've got it right. Um, dogs played good last week. Yep. And the Knights are still not being the Knights, but they've got um, Greg Marju back. Yep. I love and that. And Gagai. Yeah, they're looking good. Um, what have I got here? Surprising form. The dogs for me. Um, I think it's going to be a close game. Look for the Fox to get a try. He got three last week. Um, and look for Dylan Lucas as an option in the second row. I'm pretty sure he scored every game mm. um, that he's played. Uh, I think he's filling in for a Frizzell. Uh, he's a good option to score. like that. Um, and for some reason, I reckon Gagai is going to have a good one. Maybe get an offload to Inari outside him for a try. And the f- with me, it's going to be close. It's yeah. going to be 1-12 at the end. Um, I'm going to lean with the Knights 1-12. to Yeah. Uh, so Knights have covered the last 8 of 9 versus the Dogs. Um, and 8 of 9... Bulldogs home games versus the Knights have gone under the total points. I will go Knights to win. Knights minus one and a half. Greg Marju to score in his return. And I'll take the under as well. Nice. Yeah. Both of us locked up again. Yeah, the Knights. Uh, I reckon they'll bounce back. Yeah. And then our final game of the weekend, another big encounter. The Sharkies taking on the North Queensland Cowboys. $1. sixty-two. the Sharkies. $2.30 the Cowboys. The Lions three and a half. A um, couple of outs for both sides missing their wingers. Uh, Tualangi's gone and yep. Katoa's gone as well. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, T- Tualangi's out. Yeah, Velame feels in for him. And then there's a new dude I haven't seen yet on the no, Sharks. I yeah. didn't look. I didn't know that was. Uh, my first thought comes to mind. Mulatalo at home. Always scores. Yeah, I, got I need to know that stat. What stat is that? Right. Uh, 35 out of 20 games sure. at home. Yeah, there you go. That's it. He's, he's our new Crichton. He scores. He gets he results is. for us. And at home, he does it. So I'm a definitely locking in Mulatalo for a try for the Sharks. And Velame, Velame loves to score for the Cowboys. So I think he's a try scorer. Mm-hmm. If they put him outside of Holmes, you know, he's got a good odds there. 
So I'm not sure what edge he's playing on. So I like Velame and Molotalo to score. This is a tight matchup. Yeah. Um, did I'm, Sharky? Sorry, did Sharkies win last week? Or they have a bye. No Sharkies. Who did they play? Sharkies did win. They were versing the Rabbitohs, and Rabbitohs oh, okay. scored like two or three stupid ones yeah. in the end. Yeah. Okay. So one by twelve exactly. Hmm. Um, I think this is going to be a tight matchup. You know, because the Cowboys have been inconsistent, but so are the Sharks. Yeah. They sort of have the same inconsistency running through the clubs. Um, I think the home team are going to win one to twelve. Um, and possible one to six either way. So I'm back in the Sharks here. Well, yeah, these guys are always close. Uh, the Sharks won the last 10 of 11 versus the Cowboys. The Sharks have covered the last five home games. 10 of 12 Sharks games have gone under the total points. Uh, I'll join you with Mulatalo for a try. Um, obviously, based on the stats here, I'm going to go the Sharks to win minus a three and a half as well. I love that your stats will back up what I'm thinking. Well, I say it and then you back it. What's well, good. Well, That's last nice. week they didn't. Back you, Ooh, they back yeah, me. They but back they me. did. Well, yeah, okay. Um, see, th- that kind of concerns me. So we've pretty much gone most of the favourites all week, which is very concerning because there's going to be an upset one of them. No, there's not. Okay, um, that's negative, bro. Sorry, my. If I was going to talk about roughies, I reckon the most likely roughie would be Titans to win. Ooh, and I, well, I said that last week. <laughs> yeah, you did. And uh, maybe the Raiders could scare the Bronx. Oh, yeah. I like the Raiders, they're roughy, and mm. the Dogs to beat the Knights. That's oh, my two roughies. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we are all locked in. Look at you, mate. J- us joining together, same picks. We love that. It's good, mate. Yeah, nice. What right. about even the, the, the Dragons could even pull a roughy? Yeah, I know. It's and it. the Roosters. And the Dolphins is fucking all of them, mate. Fuck all of them roughies. Yeah, yeah. uh, anyway, we're going to stick to what we what, what, what we, uh, what our we know. Guns. Yeah, and the, uh, the stats will keep us moving. So that wraps up a big NRL round seven. Um, I just look to wrap things up here. Plenty of winners. We found plenty of juice last week for the people. So yeah, sure. we're doing our best to keep it going. In other news, big fella, making a return to the field this week. I yeah, hear. playing a uh, big shout out to Southport Tigers. Yeah. Put on the old jersey. How good. Uh, you're about to light it up down in Corumbin. Tigers oh, yeah. versus Corumbin, 3 um, p.m. Against, against the Eagles. Against you, the Eagles. What, what are you doing, Santa? Santa, man. Yeah. Good form, two flying. Been in a couple of trainings. Yeah. About to light it up. So, you want to come down and see a hat trick in the first half? I'll be lighting it up. Yeah. Hey. Sunday game or Saturday? Sunday. Sunday, 3 p.m. Fuck, there we Shout go. Shout out to the Southport Tigers. Are you at, home? at Southport? Or nah, Corumbin. Corumbin. Yeah, right. Let's get it. Yeah, good shit, man. Well, what I'm about you? you. Uh, I will be on the mic as I always am this weekend, calling nice. a bit of a uh, bit of rugby union, mate. Um, and it's back in winners, hopefully. Nice, my guy. So yeah, big weekend for the boys. Big weekend of NRL round seven coming your way. Uh, closing thoughts. How's life for you, man? It's been really good, thank you. Oh, really nice. good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Ross. How come I see a tear every time? Oh no, that's just mate. Don't don't <laughs> tell the people that. <laughs> Fuck it. Out. Oh my guy. You. Huh? You good? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, life's good, man. Life's good. Let's get All it. All right, you can close it for the people. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This, this is Milky Media, Media Vintage. We're here. This is King. This is Jody. We'll catch you next week. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs>